So I wanted to take a moment to share with you a little um, compilation of videos, you could say, um, over the course of the past couple months that I've been training for the half marathon. So the weekend has finally come that the half marathon is here. I'm actually getting ready to head down to the expo here in a little bit with the little guy. He is just drinking a bottle, relaxing, waiting to leave. Um, so over the course of the past couple months, I, I've been taking little video clips and kind of letting you in on little secrets about my training. Um, a little background story first is last year I actually ran the half marathon pregnant. Um, I didn't know I was pregnant. I had already been training. Um, so the doctors cleared me and said that I could go ahead and run it. Well, last year at mile 10, I wanted to give up. It was so intense. Um, my foot was numb. My body hurts. I had, you know, pelvic pain. Just, uh, it was a really, really hard half marathon. Um, so I said that this year I wanted to train again um, after giving birth to my son and see if I could improve my half marathon experience. Um, I also set it as a goal for myself so that after I had him that I would not just sit around and not take care of myself like I had been doing in the past. So I, I think it was actually right around the time of Black Friday, uh, they had a sale going on for the half marathon and I got my ticket super cheap. So I bought it and set forth that that was my goal, I was running in this race. Um, now life has happened since then and you know there are days that are really good and I can get out and I can get a run in. There are days where it just doesn't work out. So I'd like to believe I was as consistent as I could have been in my training but not as consistent as I would have liked to have been in my training. So at this point in time, the most I have ran has been about 10 miles for one of my long runs. So I am very hopeful that I can pull out three more miles after that, 3.1 to be exact. But, um, you know, half marathon training is definitely intense. You know, you have to spend time each week, you know, running and dedicating time to this. It's, you know, for most people, I should say, there are some, a select few, a lucky few, um, that can go out and just run a half marathon. I, however, am not one of those people, and this video is for people that are not like that. Um, so, in this video, you're going to see uh, little bits of clips about how I used to train for this half marathon. So, in a week period, I would have a long run, a speed run, um, sometimes an easy run, but that was kind of like my give or take run, whether or not I got it in or didn't get it in, and I would do cross training. So cross training had a variety of different things. Sometimes I would do hot yoga, sometimes I would train with my friend Nikki, sometimes I would do workouts at home, whatever it was that I could do, um, you know, I did a little bit of everything to try to help get that in for this half marathon. So um, uh, each one of the next following video clips will also kind of give you a little bit um, of how it worked for me and how I fit it into my schedule as well. So I just got out of the gym and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this half marathon training. So today I did a speed workout and speed workouts are not so bad. I used to think that that would be my least favorite part about my training because running fast tires me out really easily. But I've learned that the speed workout that I'm doing actually seems to be helping me when it gets to like my long distances and even somewhat on my easy runs. Um, but um, anyways, so I just got done with that. I did about three miles. So today's speed workout included about 800 meters, approximately like a half a mile of, you know, a faster speed and then like a quarter of a mile at a slower speed. And then you kind of repeat it a couple times up until about three miles is what I did. You could do three miles or four miles depending where you are in your training. So I looked at the calendar today also, and on Sunday this week, it is approximately 13 weeks until the half marathon. So this training is starting to get serious. So today's speed workout, you know, I'll probably change it up um, every week. I try to, like I said, at least do one speed workout a week. 
Um, and with that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week, but I will kind of keep you guys updated, let you know how that's going. Um, and we'll, you know, keep reporting back on that. It's another training day here, and today's training is cross training. Yay! Um, I do a variety of different things for cross training. Usually, I try to lift weights a couple days a week too, um, and then um, like once a week, approximately, I throw in a hot yoga class. Um, I typically do my hot yoga on Sundays, but um, today I'm switching it up because my friend Nikki is actually coming to the gym with me and she's going to teach me a few things for some weightlifting, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so, you know, like I said, I try to run about three times a week and then if I can get to the gym, you know, another three times a week, I try to do the cross training. So, um, you know, approximately two days of weightlifting and then one day of hot yoga is my ideal situation. And then I have one rest day. Now, you know, being a full-time mom, stay-at-home mom, um, that doesn't always work to my favor. And, um, you know, with my husband's work schedule, he works crazy hours. He works swing shift. So every week he's on a rotating shift. So, um, my gym time is based off of whenever he's home so that he can watch the baby for us. Um, but, you know, we make the best with what we got and, um, you know, I'm obviously not doing it today, but I will definitely get to put on another little video clip about some of the ways that I cross train at home with my son so that I include him into part of my training as well. Um, so I will report back to you today and let you know how cross training with Nikki goes and we're going to lift some weights. So wish us luck. <laughs> All right, so quick little update about our weight training workout. I swear my friend Nikki likes to kick my butt every time I go to the gym with her, but I love it. Love to feel the burn. Um, so we did a little bit more of um, like bench pressing, squats, deadlifts, um, and then we finished up our car or our weight training with a hit cardio workout. Um, so the main goal was like a circuit training type thing. So she had me doing a few different uh, types of workouts and I would do three sets of that. Um, and I stayed at a consistent weight and then we did the hit cardio after. So the circuit included, like I mentioned a little bit, squats, shoulder presses, uh, bench press, um, let's see, hanging leg raises and, um, like chin up bars too. So, um, I can feel the blisters starting on my hands. So I need to get some, wear my gloves next time that I go. Um, but it was a great workout. The hit workout, I think will be really good for the marathon training too. Um, I did my hit workout on the bicycle. So we did four minutes of just like an average pace, one minute of a really intense pace back down to the average pace for another four minutes and then speed it up with that minute again. So, um, this is just one example of a cross training workout that you could do while you're training for your half marathon. Um, but it definitely was an intense workout. I'm so excited to, you know, kind of keep moving on with this and trying new things. <laughs> Today's training workout is an at-home workout because it's just me and babes here today. So, and our puppies. <laughs> um, so we are going to do an at-home cross-training workout. So we'll uh, show you how Clayton and I get it done. So, all right. Hopefully we can get a good view here. So, I guess I'll lean down for a second. The first thing that we are going to do is squats. So, usually either I hold him facing out so he can see or sometimes I hold him facing in. But for the purpose of the camera, we'll do facing out. So, I usually do my wide-legged squats. Sometimes I uh, change it up and do like narrow squats like that. So, I can show you what that looks like. So, we'll do, you know what, I did uh, wide-legged the first round through. So, we'll do... Um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, five, Mossy. My dog are fighting in the background. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And I swear they're not killing each other. Guys, stop. Hey, knock it off. 
Go lay down. All right, we're back. So those were our squats that we have there. Next thing we're gonna do is mommy's least favorite thing, and that is lunges. <laughs> Clayton's watching the doggies play. Why? Why? Why now? Do you guys want to play, play and fight? All right. So same thing. You can either hold baby facing out or baby facing in. So we go one, and I alternate two, three, four. Lunges. Don't know why it hurts my knees. All right, so now I'm going to bring you guys down onto the floor and show you some of Clayton's favorite moves. So the next thing that we do is we do a 30 second plank. So usually I do this over babes. He's watching you guys. So then that way he can uh, try not to block his view. So then that way we can have some quality bonding time while we do this. So and I usually hold it for about 30 seconds. Ha! Say hi to our viewers! <laughs> you gonna talk to them? Tell them a story? Mwah. Lost track. I think we are about 30. <laughs> I should have been counting while I was doing that. Ha! So we do a 30 second plank in there. The next thing we do is probably my f most favorite move. Try to move that angle there so you guys can see us better. Um, this is for an ab workout. So what I usually do, and Clayton like this one. Yeah, you ready? So you want to kind of sit back on your butt if you can. Put your legs up like this. You're going to hold baby and you're going to kind of just go lift him up over you from side to side. I don't know, or top of it. I've got my dog in the view, so I don't know if you can see us. So do that one again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! See, that one is our favorite one. We like that one. And then what we usually do and I do crunches with him sitting on my chest. So, ready? Ah! <laughs> you are such a big help to mommy, huh? So we sit him like this. And it's kind of hard because normally I would want to kind of put my hands on my head and make sure I'm not just using my neck muscles and rather using my ab muscles. But we got to keep our hands on the baby. So it is, you know. You just try your best not to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. So you ready for your favorite one? This one is Clayton's favorite move. He likes to fly. So this is a good chest press. Huh. Say, I am a good 16 pound weight. So we go, one, two, let's see if I can turn so they can see your facial expressions, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more, just because we like this one, huh? <laughs> yes! You smile? So, these are our at-home cross-training workouts that Clayton and I do just to turn him around this way. Just that we do so then mommy gets a little bit of a workout, but we also get to play, have some play time too. Again, I don't know why this is not, there we go. There we go, now you can see us, huh? 
So this is how we do our at-home workouts. Usually we do about two or three rounds of that. That was our second round. Um, so I get these workouts off of Pinterest and just try to change them up a little bit. Pretty much just taking basic workouts that I would do at the gym and just adding some baby weight to it. And, um, you know, trying to modify when I can. Obviously, chest presses might look a little different if I was at the gym, but, um, you know, we do what we can. Clayton likes it. It's a little bit of extra playtime, bonding time. And um, we are good. I'm pretty excited. This is a little off topic, but I wanted to share. Clayton and I are doing a Mommy and Me workout program at the end of April. So I'll be excited to share about that. Um, it'll be getting us towards the end of our marathon training, but it'll be getting us ready for it. So hope you had fun watching this day of cross training with baby Clayton and I. And we are going to go hydrate, 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 hydrate. Another very important part of working out, whether you're half marathon training or just trying to lose some baby weight. So, all right, say bye. Say bye, everyone. We're working on it. <laughs>
so you want to have a long run um, each week when you're training and you want to try to increase the mileage every week um, in the beginning it's okay to you know like maybe like a week or two you might have to run the same mileage like I had done five miles last week I was gonna aim for five miles again this week so I shouldn't say you should increase it every week but you want that is your goal is to slowly start increasing that because um, eventually you have to make it to 13 miles um, so you want to slowly start getting to that when you're training um, the last time that I trained for this half marathon I actually only hit 13 miles once in my training before the marathon so it's okay you know to, to do double a week um, like for example five miles one week five miles the next week just uh, as long as you're doing something you're still getting those long miles and you're getting used to your body running for a longer period of time so that is important with the long runs um, so like I said any mileage is good mileage um, even if it's a crappy run day you're still out there you're still working it that's what's important um, today even though I was a little discouraged when I got off the treadmill and I walked into the locker room and I was like well I might as well jump on the scale and see what that says already being pessimistic about what I was gonna see so my run game sucked today but my scale game was actually on point I it said that I had lost two pounds so yay yay for me um, so that's exciting and because um, I haven't seen that number on the scale move for quite a few weeks now so hopefully you know I could work on that work on my running and get back on track this is definitely a work in progress and you don't be too hard on yourself you will get through it you will cross that finish line <laughs>
and I throw it over the top of the treadmill so I can't even look at the numbers to be honest with you and I usually time it so that every commercial break on whatever show I'm watching that's when I look at my running watch um, so little things like that will help you kind of get through it a little bit better um, so today was just a run just to see where I'm at see you know where to go from here and um, you know just another day in the training books well, I hope that you have enjoyed the following video and I will be sure to update you on how this race goes and you know I'm really excited because Clayton's gonna be there this time so I'm gonna try not to cry um last year he was in my belly and ran with me so this year he'll be at the finish line cheering me on um so I'm really excited to do this and to you know be a positive role model for my son and try to really beat my time from last year and reach my goals so I swear it's still the hormones <laughs> um, but you know I I hope that you stay tuned and you watch our next video so if you like what you see um, you know hit the like button subscribe to our channel the sassy mom sagas and you know feel free to leave a comment if you would like as well enjoy take care